Hey, one of our first alert meteorologists, Brian Walter, are watching for two chances for thunderstorms over the next 24 to maybe 30 or 36 hours. Some of these thunderstorms might be on the strong side, although there are some issues we're still continuing to work on in the forecast, including the timing and location of the strongest thunderstorms. We're hoping we can just get some beneficial rain without the severe weather chance, but initially here tonight, especially late tonight, and into tomorrow morning, we'll see some thunderstorms coming our way. There'll be a weakening line of storms dropping in from the northwest, and that'll provide at least a minimal chance for an isolated strong or severe thunderstorm. Then tomorrow afternoon is more of a conditional risk, depending on what happens in the morning. We could see, if, especially if the atmosphere here locally destabilizes, again, a chance for some strong or severe storms. But there is an opportunity that the better severe weather risk will remain off to our south tomorrow. That's what we're going to hope for. Again, hopefully we can just get some beneficial rains without the severe weather threat. Here's one forecast model you see initially late tonight into tomorrow morning. Here comes that weakening line of thunderstorms. If those storms maintain some strength, we could see some gusty winds and some heavy rain with them in the morning hours, so watch out for that carefully. And then tomorrow afternoon, just a question of how much destabilization we'll see. This forecast model keeps the thunderstorm chances mostly off to our south. Yeah, that's where my hunch is right now, but there are some other models which are advertising a little more instability coming our way and maybe an increased risk. But some of those thunderstorms, wherever they form later in the day tomorrow, could become strong or severe. So just want to make sure you're staying weather aware as we head into tonight and tomorrow. Of course, we'll keep you up to date with the latest information, including timing and location of these thunderstorms on air in our newscasts, as well as online and on social media.